Sorry. Okay. What is your name? Era. And you? Sati. D S R A T I. Okay. So, how is your relationship with your sister? Very nice and strong. Your best friends? Yes. Okay. Bestest of friends. What do you like the most about her? Everything. <laughs> I like everything of her. What do you wish people understood about you? Everything. What do you mean by everything? Like dumb so like I'm not suffering to that I'm with it is a condition. Yeah. She's not suffering with it. He's saying I'm not suffering with Down syndrome. It's just a condition. <laughs> what are you most proud of? <laughs> yeah. Hi. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Down syndrome is a genetic disorder. In each cell of our body, normally we have 46 chromosomes. In children with Down syndrome, they have an extra piece of chromosome at the 21st locus. They have 47 instead of 46. Because of that, the cells don't function completely normally. So they may have little, little differences between the normal people. The clinical manifestations uh, for them or usually they'll have little bit uh, delayed milestones. Uh, they may have some issues with uh, thyroid. Sometimes they may be having cardiac abnormalities. Uh, but most of the time, all these are manageable. And these children with early intervention can do very well because there is a small gap between normal children and them. And this can be bridged by early interventions and them. <laughs> Down syndrome is not a hereditary, it's a chance occurrence. So uh, I think it's understood that there is one extra bit of that chromosome 21. Why that happens to certain children? One thing, one of the risk factors that's it work is when the mother's age is so an age on the mother above 75 is one of the biggest risk factors, but it's usually not an hereditary. So again, a very common concern is, is there something that can be done to cure it? Of course, a lot of parents, by the time they come to me, they understand that this is a genetic issue, that it's not anything that we can cure as such. But uh, I think with the type of work that the Down Syndrome Association is doing, it supports the parents in a big way. It also supports the children in a very big way to make sure that they reach their full potential and they are able to lead active, independent lives. They are all able to look after themselves. They are able to do jobs where they earn money. So they can live as, you know, productive a life as a child without Downs to grow. I think that is the biggest uh, gift that an organization like Downs and Rome gives to both parents and children. One last, one last letter. Thank you, thank you, and my favorite,
So this event was conceived in 2017 when we realized that our country has no background and very little awareness. So to, to create an awareness, you need noise. To have noise, you need people. So it was my thing that I need to bring all the families together, sit together, make a loud noise so that, you know, there is the society understands there is something called Down syndrome and these people will and can do as much as you can. And this is what I tell the parents. If you believe that your child cannot do, never do. Of course, our parents will see a different potential. They'll say, no, my child can do this, do this. The child has different interests. So we always help them to channelize. We give them the benefit of health. So our thing is to have healthy individuals with whoever can be performed in any which way, we give them a chance. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's a wonderful chance for a lot of the parents to come together. In, it has been shown that in a lot of these, what we call chronic conditions, uh, support groups really help a lot. You understand that you're not alone that other people are facing. Initially, sometimes some parents are very hesitant about reaching out because they don't want others to know about this. But once you come into a group like this, once you attend a meeting like this, you understand that so many parents face the same problem. Uh, you get a chance to meet up with various specialists and understand all of the, apart from you know doctors, there are also speech therapists, there are physiotherapists, there are uh, 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 specific ENT doctors and more. So there is a lot that goes on into looking after these children, making sure that their speech, diction, swallowing, everything is normal. Uh, and then parents begin to get an awareness about all of them, various medical health issues that children with Down syndrome face. Definitely, I think meetings like this are a big boon to parents with Down syndrome. And as far as I know, they're pretty unique in the whole world, actually. So all Down syndrome. So, can you imagine the fun we are going to have? Each year coming to the conference, my friends, is bigger than the one When she was born, we were broken the news about Down syndrome. Although we were well-traveled, we thought, oh, cool, educated, we know everything. We had no idea what Down syndrome was, like nothing. The only, I the only information we had in hand was Google. The doctor sent us home saying, we don't know if your child can talk or walk or do anything. And uh, immediately in two months, we came to know that she needs a heart surgery and, uh, you know, we had to take her. So we really never got any time to make sense of it. It was uh, do or die, you know. And of course, we went through the grief and, you know, acceptance and all. But for us, I think my mom said this very nicely that, you know, you treat her like you would have tra treated any other child. And, you know, then you will see how the magic happens. So I think for us, for me, it was that. Of course, I had a community of my parents, my friends, and then we met uh, parents from Hamsafa, Rekhama, which made the journey easier. I won't say it was all very nice and happy, but all these things have made it a bit easier for us. This is like the annual gathering for us. We all look forward to uh, being in this event is meeting all our friends, you know, having a family of our own, having a family that, you know, understands us without any biases. You know, you don't have to complete the sentence. They'll just understand what it is. And of course, there's so much of knowledge exchange and, you know, sharing and fun. <laughs>
Okay, uh, so my name is Kavita. I have a daughter who is seven years old and she is blessed by Down syndrome. And actually we have um, chosen, you know, uh, Veda, I would say, or she has chosen us because um, five years ago we adopted Veda. So uh, that, the journey has been incredible since then. Yeah. Can you share the moment uh, you saw Veda for the first time? Oh, it was so magical um, because uh, we were told uh, she is uh, 16 months old and uh, so basically our kids are, uh, they have delays in growth, so she was that tiny, like two to three months old. So we met her and um, she was the happiest kid. And yeah, exactly. She was so comfortable and we were in love with her. In first moment, they say, um, like, uh, you know, you fell in love with your child. But I experienced that on that day. I felt like she belongs to us since the first moment. Like, we, exactly. Bonding takes time, attachment takes time, but that connection um, happens rarely. And with Veda, we were like, she's our daughter. She's the one. <laughs> so, yeah. You don't have to let people understand. They will understand when they have to. They did, they understood. I won't say they understand her condition, but they understood like there is nothing um, weird or uh, that different about them. They are part of this world. They're part of this family, right? There is nothing uh, so, uh, you know, very much different about them. They are different, but nothing like, okay, something, you know, special need. When you see, you learn more, I guess. So I think uh, having Veda has made everyone around me much more conscious and kind. So how did your association with DSFI help in that? Well, I I felt heard, I would say. Heard. Uh, yeah, heard. Heard. Yeah, I felt heard and seen. Okay, it's not like, um, you know, if I was looking for a support, but it's like there are challenges and when you meet another parent and uh, so many kids going through the same, you feel seen, okay, like, and then you want to just cherish those moments. You're like, okay, I'm not alone. There are people like me. There are people who are also struggling like me. You can help them. You can take help from them. You can guide them. They can guide you. So that actually uh, made the life, you know, a bit better in DSFI. So the idea is that you make them feel as comfortable as you can by just being yourself and treating them just, if it is a 12 year old, treat him like any regular 12 year old. If he's a 25 year old, treat him like a regular 25 year old. You'll see a change in them because they start feeling more like you, they'll reciprocate. Don't, and don't keep looking at them as if they are beings from another planet. They are not. They are like you and me. Just that extra chromosome does not mean anything. Trust me. They love you more. I have uh, gotten more love. You know, here, children come and hug me. I cannot tell you what goes into my heart. I feel so loved, so belonged, you know. Gives you a high. Huh? It gives me a high. IIDSC and the ending always gives me a high because when people go and they tell you they had a great time. Nothing to beat that event. That's what, that's exactly what makes IIDSC what it is. So that's what uh, we love about your job also. How I love my job. I don't think it's a job, you know. This, see, one thing, I, I have a boss, Rekha ma'am, who's not, I, how do I put it? She's, she's more than a boss. She's like a mother. Figure to everyone. She'll take care of everybody. And when I see that, I wish, bye! <laughs> I wish I could at least be 1% of her, you know, somewhere where I can give the same love, same affection to people. For me, my daughter is enjoying every bit of her. So for 42 years, people told me she won't do anything. She'll die, she'll this. Uh -huh. Look how she's living. And that's an example for all of them. No? So they are looking at home. And what I've offered to them is home. And they are actually giving me a smile and saying, Oh, yeah. I could see them, you know, when they walk into my room, they're stressed. Because they don't know what to do next. Whenever I tell them, I will show you directly. And immediately they will say, Ma, you are here, we are here. So your presence, because you are older and you, you know, like, they had a lot of information, they will turn around and say, your presence is enough, you make us smile. 
that smile I can hold for the next volume. Oh, okay. For that smile, there's nothing else.